Hey guys, Vizzerlo here, or gameplay commentator YouTuber, because I guess that's what I am now. So if you've been around for a while, you probably know that I made a decent amount of videos on Terraria for the Switch. And considering that my channel is about to hit 1,500 subscribers, which by the way, if you're new, you should maybe, you know, check out my channel, but it's up to you. But anyway, you would know that I made a decent amount of videos on Terraria on the Switch. And those videos actually are quite popular with you guys, so I thought I'd just make another one. Because in my opinion, this update is actually pretty major, and it is kind of late, but I want to make this video now because it's more of like a theory kind of video, like game theory, map pat, epic. But of course, like I said, this is just a theory, so who really knows if it's actually going to happen like this year. It could be delayed once again. But basically what I'm thinking, and you probably already know this because you've probably already read the title, but I think that Terraria on the Switch is going to come out this summer because of a lot of evidence that has come out mainly in April. So I'm just going to go over that in a minute. So I'm just going to go over that in a minute, but if you have your own opinions, of course, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you play Terraria, then hit me up, but you know, whatever. But anyway, let's get into this. So in April of 2019 on the Terraria forums, a Relogic admin made a post about the state of the game in April. And they made a whole thing talking about all of the different, like every single version. And it was actually pretty interesting. I'll actually like pin that right now so that I can like show you guys in the description. There's a lot of things that came out, but mainly what I want to focus on is the Switch part. Basically, it's already past initial submission from Nintendo. So that means that they've checked it out, check out their build of the game, and they've given back feedback and they've like, essentially Nintendo has reviewed it. Now, they are also going to do a final submission, which is coming up, apparently, and there's been no update since that April post. So, right now, that's really all we got about how far the game is coming. But what we do know is that the game is essentially done from Pipeworks, which is really good to hear. Now, another piece of evidence that has been discovered is that a lot of Terraria updates have been coming out. Like, Terraria on mobile got updated for the first time in three years last month, so... That's pretty good, considering that's, you know, a lot of people play on mobile, and now they can actually play. It's not 1.3. 1.3, as they said, is in alpha testing, but at least it was updated. And back on that forums post, it was also confirmed that the PS4 and Xbox One version of 1.3.1 is on its way, and it's just currently in its stage build, so it's getting reviewed. Something else that's also cool is that cover art for the Switch version was also released, and I'm just going to show it up on the screen. To be honest, it does not look that bad, but it's mostly just exciting about the fact that we actually have cover art. Alright, so now that's all the way, why would it come out during the summer though? Like of all the times, why would they release it during the summer? Well, I think that it's going to come out during the summer because of another reason, and that is E3. Now, Nintendo is one of the only companies that is actually still attending E3, which is pretty interesting. Except they're, they aren't really attending, they're doing like their whole direct thing, but... Basically, I think that what's going to happen is during that direct, Terraria is going to be shown off and this, like a release date will be shown off for the summer. Or maybe even they're going to do what they did like during the last E3 where it'll be like, Fortnite's available today, but instead of it being Fortnite, you know, you get free battle pass and all that, it's going to be Terraria, which would be pretty cool. I feel like both Pipeworks and Nintendo know that if they release it during the summer and announce it at E3, then it would probably stir up some hype, to be honest. Like, if it was just during, like, a small little direct, it also would. But I think during E3, in front of, like, everyone to see, I feel like it would really grab people's attention. I was thinking about also live streaming Terraria, or just, just live streaming something and just talking about stuff on it, like maybe the game too. So if you want to see that, then feel free to subscribe, but that's also totally up to you. But anyway, that's all I have to say, so I hope you enjoy this video, and as always, see you.